This is the final setup for the I2C scope measurements. And you can see that I have the address, which is 60, the right to the control register, which is 40, and then I have my data of A, B, C, 0. But the only important part here is the C. The data in this case is most significant bit first. And I would have chosen I2C serial decoding. So let's do a reset so I can show you how I went through this process. So do reset configuration. Okay, and this is probably what you're going to see. It's a little bit of data with a lot of time high. And we're going to trigger on that information. And right now it's just one channel. So we want to select a second channel. So turn on B, go to probes, standard, times 10. And we'll check the same thing for A. It's probes, standard, times 10. Okay, and you'll see that that changes. The next thing we want to do is change the time base because our clock cycles are uh, 100 kilohertz. So I'm going to change the time base to say maybe 100 microseconds per division for now or 50 microseconds per division. I'm going to change the trigger. Right now it's just triggering on a, a simple edge and I'm triggering on channel A. So you are getting a trigger once in a while, but not very often because you have such uh, a high amount of high time. But the, the little glitch I've noticed here is that until you move this threshold at least one time, it doesn't th show a threshold point or it shows it way up here. Okay, not sure why it starts off that way, but it seems to be a, a bit of a glitch. So I'm bringing it down to two volts and now I'm at least getting some sort of trigger, but not the best. So uh, the way I can change things to get a better trigger is I'm going to change to a different type. And pulse width seems to be the best for a lot of the serial decoding. But I want it to start here at the 20%. So I'm going to change that to 20. Now you can see it trigger here, but it's still not triggering great. But we do have a long time high. So what I'm going to do is uh, select positive pulse duration. So that's the time high and it's going to be greater than and I'm going to select maybe milliseconds here maybe 10 milliseconds I know there's a faster way of doing this but okay so now it seems to be triggering very well on that following edge after a long amount of time high so that's going to be helpful when we do our serial decoding so we're going to turn on the second channel which is B go to probes standard times 10 and our vertical is set for plus and minus 10 volts now they're overlapping so one of the ways to get around that is you can just drag where it has the zero bring this one up try to get it so the zero lines up on a, a line and then bring this red one down so that they don't overlap but that's not great because that reads 0.8 you want it so it reads zero right there and you can see the red line is from zero to about five volts. The blue line, the vertical setup is right here. Okay, so that all seems to be okay. It's triggering properly. Now let's add the serial decoding. This is I2C, so come over here, select I2C, next. And uh, our clock signal is on A, the blue trace. Our data, the red trace, so we select data. Serial mode, our data from our program is at 100 kilobits per second. And let's just have a look at that. So here you can see our program. It does not indicate the speed here, but it is standard uh, speed for this interface on the Arduino. So back to our program, this is the first step. So data on B, clock on A, bus speed 100 kilobits per second, then select next. And here we want hexadecimal in both the graph and the table. The table is going to be down at the bottom and then select finish. And I'm just going to drag this, oops, not that one. I want that to be at zero again. I'm going to drag this line so it sits about in the, the middle here. And so this is our I2C serial decoded data, but we're in triggering in auto mode, I believe. Yes.
it's auto mode and I'm just going to run continuously and it's updating and our table is down at the bottom okay and you can see that it's the data is 40 a b c 0 so that all makes sense the negative acknowledge means that the acknowledge is okay this green is the right so here's our address of 60 our data of 40 or, or sorry the register that we want to write to or update is 40 and our data is a b c 0 okay so you know check all of these things so here's the time based settings again the trigger setting, the I2C settings. We'll go to the next to see all of that, but everything seems to be okay there. We'll stop that.